to many, stocks, gold, and crude oil are three very different markets. Stock prices essentially measure optimism through corporate profits, with a bit of central bank management mixed in for good measure. Gold has a 5,000-year track record where one holds a physical asset that has no meaningful financial liability. Crude oil prices reflect something like the blood pressure reading of the economy. New technologies have changed the oil formula somewhat, but at about 81 million barrels per day, the underlying symptoms are easily identified and continue to be the same. However, there remains two commonalities. These are that demand still matters, and all three are priced in dollars. With few exceptions, China trying to be an exception, you need a dollar to buy any of them. So, let's take a look. As we have discussed before, looking at the markets from different perspectives is a necessary exercise in order to truly understand the market levels and whether they are appropriate at any given period of time. Doing so will bear out the risks and opportunities, since the units of measure do not change. S&P points, gold troy ounces, or 42-gallon oil drums, were able to remove the manipulations of government necessity. Therefore, the combination of differences and commonalities makes a stock gold oil relative price analysis insightful. To do this, we can use the World Bank data going back to 1970. So here is what the data shows. In the first observation, the ratio of the S&P 500 to gold has run hot and cold, but recently the ratio is near spot on with its longer term average. I submit that as of the recording of this video, a few days before viewing, the S&P 500 trades for just over 3100 and gold is about $1,470 per ounce. That ratio equates to about 2.12. I submit that over the last 30 years, the average S&P 500 to gold ratio has been about 2.07. So for the past 30 years, we're near target. However, if going back to 1970, the average ratio is about 1.57. By that measure, we're above target. However, with the S&P 500 going down and gold going up, that divergence may be solved soon enough. Now, looking at this chart, one can see how the chart has moved, but roughly shows the times of overvaluation and undervaluation. The indication by this measure is that the optimism reflected in U.S. equities is relatively near equilibrium with the caution that is priced into the gold markets. In the second observation, the S&P 500 does trade rich compared with oil prices. Looking at the World Bank data, the recent average oil price over the past few years is about $59 per barrel applied to the S&P 500 indicates an S&P 500 to oil price ratio of about 52.8. This ratio is well above the 30-year average of about 32.8 and significantly above the ratio of about 27.13 going all the way back to 1970. Looking at this chart, one can see that more recently and with the elevation that began in about 2014, U.S. stocks have been well above their average ratio, but of course, the ratio is significantly below the high of about 118 that was set in the late 1990s. The indication is that the S&P 500 to crude oil ratio has run in the range of about 40 to 60 times since the upswing in 2014. Perhaps this means that the stock market benefits from disruptive technology such as big tech, that being Google, Facebook, Microsoft, uh, and Apple, and then is viewed with huge price gains. On the other hand, and very interestingly, oil and gas prices suffer 
from the same technology phenomenon as a result of, say, new extraction methods, but instead are viewed with lower multiples. In the third observation, the gold to crude oil ratio has been rocky through time, but at current levels, gold looks a bit expensive compared with oil. The recent ratio, based on the prices previously discussed, is about 24.9 times, with the 30-year average at about 16.8 times and the long-term average at about 17.68 times, gold is overpriced. The chart shows that one needs to go back to the 1980s and 1990s to find a period where the gold to crude oil ratio runs reliably above 20 times. The indication is that oil is relatively cheap compared with gold. That is, until someone figures out how to frack gold. For you as investors, using simple ratios, we find that global capital markets are relatively well balanced between fear, represented by gold prices, and greed, represented by stock prices. But oil clearly seems to be the one outlier. So, have you figured out where I'm going with all of this yet? I'll give you a second to think about it. Okay, dig deep and find that inner contrarian that says to you, there may be an opportunity here, and that would be oil. And of course, I'm certainly going to have more information for you coming soon in some videos. But until then, remember, and as plainly seen with these charts, oil prices can remain cheap relative to stocks and gold for a long time, even without new technological disruption. So be patient. And until next time, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.